What does it mean, prepare your heart? Well, the heart, Jeremiah 17, 9, is desperately sick. Who can know it? Go back to the heart of the matter teaching. We did that verse over and over again, right? Jeremiah 17, 9. It's not in man's understanding in their heart to know which way to even place our own feet. The way that seems right to man leads to death. You know these verses. And so the heart has to be prepared. The heart is where information and emotion come together. If you prepare the heart to deal with that in a correct way, a Yahweh-focused way, by seeking Yahweh in it, but the heart has to be prepared, meaning ready. What does prepared mean? If I told you that, for example, we were going to war, and I said you need to prepare, what would you do? You'd make sure that you had your provisions, your weapon, your armor, you'd practice, that, like, right? You'd prepare for what's coming. So he says you need to prepare to seek Yahweh. He said he did evil because he did not prepare his heart. Prepare the heart. So what do you have to do to have the heart ready to seek Yahweh? This is really the key. Because if I told you that you had, if I told you I was coming to visit your house, you'd want to prepare your house because somebody was coming. Well, maybe that's too scary. Somebody else is visiting. <laughs> But I'm saying if you knew you had, get, like let's say a family member who hasn't seen you in a while says, hey, I'm, I'm going to be in town next week, you'd make sure you, you clean the house a little bit differently and get a room ready for them. I mean, you prepare for them coming. You'd have to think about what do they need so you're prepared. Well, what does Yahweh need for you in your heart to be ready if you seek him? Are you emotionally able to receive? Are you already set in your own mindset, in your own heart, in your own emotions? In other words, this goes back to the sower and the seed. What kind of ground is your heart? The heart has to be prepared if you're going to seek him to receive him. And this is very simple. You may have to do a lot more things if someone's coming over your house. But to have your heart ready to him, you have to receive him, to see, if you're going to seek him, you're seeking him, why? So you can receive something from him. So if you're going to seek him, you have to be able to receive. You can't do that if you're rebellious, if you know it all, if you already think you have the answers. If there's a lot of stuff that you need to get out of the way so you can receive. That make sense? The problem is almost always going to be this. We're going to do evil because we're not seeking him. And, we're not, and even if we do seek him, we're still going to do evil if we haven't prepared our hearts to receive it. Because remember, I taught you about revelation, not the book, the idea of getting a revelation. When something is revealed to you, it's one thing to have your eyes open to hear and understand the information, but then you have to receive it. In other words, accept it so that you then do whatever you're supposed to do with it. But if you're not prepared for that, you're not going to receive it. So something can be revealed to you and it's useless because you're not able to receive it. I've got people that counsel every now and then that I don't know why they come because they're not able to receive. They come, they know they're supposed to, they ask the questions they're supposed to, they get the answers they're supposed to get, but they're not able to receive it because they didn't come prepared to receive. I have others who walk in saying, whatever you've got, I've, I need it. If I need to get kicked, kick me. If I need to be yelled at, yell at me and all that. And I don't do those things, but they're, they're at least in the right mindset. I need and I'm prepared for whatever it looks like. I'm not going to prepackage it. That may be the big problem. If you have already decided in your heart what you're looking for should look like, I'll say it again, you've already decided what it is that you're expecting. I'm asking Yahweh, and I'm not just expecting an answer, I'm expecting this answer, and I want it to look like this and feel like this and be like this. You're not ready to receive if it's different. I mean, if it just so happens to match, you might receive it. But what if his answer, as I've often said when we pray, Father, I accept that your answer may not be in the form that we had wanted it to be. But we always accept it's the right answer. But only if we're prepared to receive it. If you're not prepared to receive it, you're not going to, it's not going to matter what form his answer was in. Because you won't be able to receive it. So as we close with this for today, I want us to understand that we need to be really focused on not only understanding evil and what it is, but 
these other two things. One, we tend to have in us by default. I didn't cross myself, I just was pointing. Um, I just caught myself in the monitor. I was like, what am I doing here? Those are my Illuminati hand signals. Um, we, we really need to understand that evil is a absolutely easy mindset and behavior and character for us to fall into as human beings. Abba saw that it was that way in the beginning, wiped them all out and said it's gonna be that way again. So we need to know right up front that us doing evil and experiencing evil is probably going to happen. How do we work that out so that we can minimize it and grow out of it and eventually get to the point where we're no longer dealing with it? It's this piece here, preparing our hearts to seek Yahweh. 